Alex and Bal, you guys here? I am here. Oh, shit. Coming in with that smooth jazz. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's Alex, up? Have you drunk yet? <laughs> well, I fucking... uh, not yet. I'm still sober. Alex, I told you, bro. I told you that was a good luck charm. You put up that picture of the three of us on your wall today, you make 200 grand. <laughs> Yeah, it's good luck. If I if I lost money today, that was going out the window, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> throw out that freaking thing. Right the top. <laughs> bro, Bao has made me the most superstitious guy in the world, bro. Like I haven't shaved my fucking beard in like fucking three weeks. Dude, I'm still fucking wearing the same pants, like. Oh, that, bro, that's nothing. I used to be a baseball player when I was freaking ten through twenty, and then I met Bao, dude. I'm a su- I can't even walk on cracks in the sidewalk, dude. I'm very superstitious about like what's on my desk. If I ever get like a new piece of like pen or pencil and I lose money that day, it's out the fucking window. Bro. <laughs> you guys have no idea how happy I am. Alex pulled in like 200K today because dude, I gave him a very sentimental gift and he put it on his wall today. Like, thank you. Hey, 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 Alex, the next time you buy the new Lambo, if, if you lose money, give it to me, bro. Don't throw it away. <laughs> what that, dude? I want that. <laughs> Crazy day, man. Today was a crazy day. But the thing was, we were actually stalking the setup for a week now in the room. If you guys go back through like the watch list, you can see that it was pretty much posted on the watch list every single day that we were just waiting for the first red day setup. And to be honest, I wasn't, this is like kind of the first time that I've seen a parabolic chart like this tank all the way back down from 500 to 50 and bounce all the way back to 350. That. This is like something that I've never seen before. These usually do not bounce back this hard because there's so many stuck longs. But in this case, the stuck longs have diamond hands and they're never going to fucking sell. Dude, it looks like an OTC chart from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, this is a ridiculous chart, bro. It actually reminds me of Tilray. If you remember Tilray, uh, Tosh, when it went to 300, Dude, it hit 300 on the dot and fucking went down 50% in one day. Well, and Alex, so, remember this, guys. This is like a once in a generation type of move. If you are planning to trade like GME guys, you're going to go broke. So this is why we always talk about money is going to flow from the uneducated to MIC because we're educated. <laughs> let, let, let these guys make their money on GME. That's fine. There's like thousands of other stocks that we will make money on every day. But do not expect the GME effect to, to go on to other stocks because this does not happen, guys. There is only one Tesla there's only one game stock, you know? Yeah. It's <laughs> crazy, bro. It's crazy. I've literally it's never seen anything like, like this to be able to recover this hard. Most of the these, time. Holding these worthless, this is a worthless company. AMC is about to go bankrupt. I mean, dude, in any other time in our life, this would have been delisted to the fucking penny stock market. <laughs> Now, listen to this, man. My, my stepsister bought with her husband at 240, like during the first run, and it went to 50. And I was like, see, I fucking told you, dude, I'm never going to hear the end of it. I bet you they made a fortune today. I'm never going to hear the end of and it. You know why, bro? They're not going to make a fortune because they're never going to sell. Because they're never going to sell, bro. They think it's going to go to 600. This never happens, man. Uh, the, the problem is this, guys. They, they all think that this shit is like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, the reason why it's up because it's a small, limited float. There is no more Bitcoin. Bitcoin is like a game of hot potato. People just throwing it around to each other. These stocks, they can raise on you anytime. The rumor out there right now is that there is a fucking offering for GME at a hundred bucks. So yeah. that, I mean, a, if you think rumor, about it, bro, the but, company's fucking bankrupt. It would be very smart with all the liquidity to do an offering, maybe even an ATM and clear it out. Cause that's what Tesla did. Tesla had a $5 billion ATM that they cleaned out in one fucking day. Nope, so with nope. all this volume, all this liquidity, I mean, this is, this, is why these new, this, why the, this is why the new traders have no idea. Diamond hands do not work when there is an infinite supply of diamonds out there. <laughs> That's so diamonds are fucking cubic zirconia, man. GME, AMC, they're bankrupt. They can raise and create diamonds on the fly. So you're holding worthless diamonds. Soon. So that is the best explanation we've ever heard on diamond hands when there's infinite diamonds. <laughs> Alex, how it is, man. Alex, I think I think we'll probably give way more away tomorrow in our trader clinic. If you want to kind of like tease what that is and tell people, like tell them what it is. Yeah, so let me kind of explain what the trader clinic is, guys. So what I do is I try to do it every month, but I was kind of in Miami and I didn't really have like a proper setup there. So I haven't had the opportunity to do it there. But what we do is usually every month for the lifetime members, me and Tosh come on and we do like a one hour webinar where we bring on the lifetime members and mentor them and coach them live while also kind of recapping the market action. And 
it just so happened that, you know, when I announced the trader clinic on Monday that we had this crazy move on GameStop today, it almost seems like fate that, you know, we're going to be able to recap that. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. market time for the lifetime members only, we're going to be hosting this webinar and the annual members get to watch the replay uh, a week later. This is, I think, uh, some of the best content we have at MIC outside of Bao's trading fish videos. And these videos are like, in my opinion, have all of the lessons, all the secrets, all the things that people don't really want to talk about. Because at the end of the day, if you are a lifetime member at MIC, you're stuck with us for life. You know, you're going to be here for the next 20, 10, 20, 30 years. Literally. And those are the members that we want to be able to show that, hey, this is kind of uh, a deeper dive into the market. This is a little bit more advanced strategy. This is where it kind of gets a little bit more serious. So again, I'm going to try to do these every single month. I was in Miami, so I didn't have the opportunity, but yeah, I'm excited to do it tomorrow. And tomorrow's topic is going to be about the first red day setup. It's going to be about sympathy plays. We're going to be talking about EYES and ears. We're going to be talking about those setups uh yeah so psyched for it, man because we have so much fun guys and it's and it's like it's again it's like a really intimate setting between all the lifetime members man we really gauge and bring them on we talk about their charts we talk about like everything that's going on in the market currently right like everything is up-to-date information man and we're gonna tackle this heavily and it's funny like dude we we have this running joke of it. it's so fate every time we do it because anytime we're gearing up like two days later right before alex always hits the banger of bangers and then we can discuss it and really delve into like like everything about that trade. So I'm really excited for it, man. This so is a very, very important lesson coming tomorrow on the yeah. first red day because there's a lot of people that blew up on this GameStop and long or short, right? Maybe you got you were buying at 300 thinking that 500 is coming. Maybe yep. you short 180 and you thought that 100 was coming. So there's a lot of emotions in this stock today. And to be honest, the best setup, the easiest setup was the first red day setup. Uh, and I don't want to kind of get too deep into that now because we have videos on it, but I want to kind of save that for the lifetime guys tomorrow. Alex, I think the only thing you should talk about today on this, bro, is like the the correlation between you just coming in to get a nice nail and bill and bro making almost 200 grand. Like, just talk about that for the guys say they're listening in on like, dude, I'll bet you didn't even think you'd make 200. Like, what was your thought process on just that? Like, bro, To be honest, I was not even looking at the money. I 99% of the time, bro, I have no idea how much I'm making until the trade is complete. Because right. in my mind, bro, I'm not scaling or I'm not trading to make five, 10, $20,000. I'm just trading the chart. And then when I exit, I turn my head, I look at the profits and I'm like, oh shit or oh fuck. Because bro, when you, when you told Bao and I that you were shorting this today and you were like, dude, it's first red day. Like I'm, I'm going to go in on this. I was like, oh cool. Alex is going to pull together, you know, a $30,000 trade in 10 minutes. Bro, you walk away with almost 200 grand. I was like, this is the oh. anatomy of how a trade works, guys. We, we sit around like fishermen. We fish, we put our pole into the water and hope we catch something. We really don't know what we're going to catch until we pull it out of the water, right? So, but you have to be in the game. You have to be sitting around. You have to be prepared with the bait, the proper equipment, the top proper knowledge. Otherwise, you can fall into the ocean and get eaten by the sharks. So, now, what's that quote about luck that you're always saying about how preparation meets opportunity or something? Yep. Luck is, you know what? Luck is, you know, we get lucky every fucking day. And that's <laughs> because we're preparing. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation, right? Or when preparation meets opportunity, right? Dude, that was today in a nutshell. <laughs> Basically, you make your own luck, guys. These guys that say, ah, bad luck, I had bad luck. Well, shit, they make their own fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. For real, man. Well, hard work, you know what, man? I'm telling you guys, hard work pays off. Hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. So all of these guys out there that think they're not smart enough, that they did not go to school, they're not Ivy League, they don't want, you know, forget all that. I mean, Alex worked at a Starbucks. I mean, I, I'm... I came as an immigrant. I mean, there we had very challenging lives. We're not the smartest people. I get drunk all the time. Fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? If I can do it, if Alex can do it, we can all do it, guys. And, and, and let, me, let me just say this really quick. Guys, just a recap for any new members coming in. Like, why are we so on top of things every single day and week, right? Like, why are we on top of this? First off, dude, look, we have a watch list in the morning where Alex is prepping you. Look, first red day. GME is on this, dude. He was ready from the get-go. Look at timestamp. It's in pre-market. Then when you scroll up and you see the MIC main trading chat, I mean, you really have to scroll far because we talked a lot today. But, guys, you'll see scans. You'll see charts. You'll see thought process. You'll be like, you'll see the full 
commentary that Alex was ready when that preparation opportunity meets. And then you're like, oh, well, he got lucky. No, dude, we've been stocking this for a week. We've been ready. We've been telling you guys, we, you know, the lines, you know, our thought process, you know why we're getting in. And then you have so many people to kind of network. And like, these are PMs down here. Like maybe your tab partner, like sent you a message, dude, it's really cracking. Today's the first red day. And then you're on it. What I'm trying to tell you is none of this is luck. We have so much structure for members at MIC that you're never going to miss anything. You're, unless you didn't pay attention to anything, you're not going to miss it, man. We, we silver platter everything for you guys. And something I want to add there, Tosh, is I've been doing this, I think it's six, seven, I think almost seven years now, I think six and a half years is where I'm at right now. Six years, six and a half years. And when I first started, man, I was making $100 a day. And that was a, that was giving me the ability to make more than my job. And then those hundred dollar days turned into $500 days. And then that turned to thousand dollar days and then $2,000 days. And now six years later, it's turning into 10, $20,000 days. So the earlier you start, the faster you start educating yourself, the faster you will start making money. You're not going to be making a hundred grand your first year. Ignore all these things you're seeing on Twitter and social media. These guys making hundred K a day. You don't have $10 million to trade, man. Most people don't have fucking $10 million to trade, but the process that we will teach you guys will teach you eventually how to make a thousand dollars a day, every single day until the day you die with no stress and trading pretty much one hour a day. When it comes back to supplementing income, right? Like Bows, I'll actually let Bow say he's the king of talking about this, but like what he posted the chart earlier, like I'll pull it up. It's like, Bow, how important is seriously just $200 a day? Seriously. You know, everybody defines life changing as different, right? So when I came to America, we didn't have much money. We were living on welfare, you know, worked minimum wage jobs. Life changing for me was being able to walk into a restaurant, ordering whatever I wanted without having to look at the price. That's and so that happened to me. That just happens to be 200 bucks a day, guys. I can walk into any fucking restaurant. Well, besides the top ones, right? And order a fucking steak for 60 bucks and not have to worry about it. When I was young, this was unheard of. We would never order a $30 steak. We would go to Denny's and get a fucking $12 Salisbury steak. That's close to a steak I had, right? Yeah, man, seriously. That to me is life fucking changing, guys. You don't have to make a million dollars. You do not have to drive a Lamborghini. You just have to fucking change your life and not have to you know, work day by day, figuring out where you're going to eat. So life change to me is very basic. Being able to eat what I want to eat whenever I want to eat it. Being able to have clean water to drink, shit like that. Being able to not have to take the bus. Dude, I took the bus all my fucking life until I, until I went to college. Dude, and Bao, the thing I love about this chart that you posted, man, is most people go, well, I make 200 a day and 200 a day you know, and 200 a day. But guys, you, you're not even accounting for the, it's like an average medium, right? For the day of each year. So say you do have a day where you kill it. Like not to, uh, they're already posted on testimonials, not getting people's business too much, but dude, two of our members, two of our members, James are, are really good examples. JJ, who's one of our new moderators, actually a junior moderator, right? Dude, he pulled in $16,000 today when he usually makes like one to three a day. And James, you know, he, dude, he's been trading for two years now within MIC. And guess what? If you don't have the risk tolerance that Alex does, maybe you never will have that kind of risk tolerance. Maybe you do. Dude, James makes 1,000 a day, bro, with like 1,500 shares. Like, and look what 1K a day is. Like the guys buying out, you know, freaking BMW i8s. The whole point is like every now and then you're going to have that home run. Like, you know, James will have a $14,000 day randomly. And then you highly cushion this, this number for the year. That's what I'm trying to say. So focus on your daily. And then dude, someday, like Alex will try to make four to 10,000 a day because that's his sweet spot. That's what he's very, very predictably good at. And then dude, you get a $200,000 day and then it just cushions the shit out of this for you. So that's the whole point, man, is consistency and being ready for these setups. Hey, Tosh, I posted um, the options guy. He right made here. It was 1300 bucks. They made 70 Gs. Dude, I, I already mentioned that in passing, but let's actually talk about that. So, guys, for anybody who is not familiar with what options are, um, 
I do, fuck, dude, maybe we could, we could probably even bring Joe on, but what you're doing is you're trading a premium of the stock, right? So you're, so basically I'll give you an example, guys. If I want, I was thinking about trading the options on GME today, right? And I was actually trying to prep for this webinar. So I really didn't take advantage of it, but dude, I mean, you could have traded GME for $33 a share, but what it is, it's actually a contract of the premium that you're looking for a certain strike price. So not to confuse you guys, but if you see the bounce to VWAP and you're like, dude, I'm going to do what Alex does, but on but an option end and I want to catch the move from 250 to 230 but I'll trade the premium from you know 33 down to 20. Also Tosh show them the options boot camp in the video library so that they could literally go and get like a I think it was a three or five series boot camp that Joe made that gives you the pure basics dude, of options to the even the more advanced strategy. So oh, we by, the, guys. by the way, guys, dude, Alex and myself are not options traders, dude. We're like barely even options traders, right? Dude, we learned from Joe, dude. Like, 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 dude, even we're learning other things that we never did. You know, we've been trading small caps for seven years, but we are like, dude, why not trade options as well? If you can add that to your repertoire. So uh, I'm trying to think, I haven't looked this up in a long time. It's just, you just type in options boot camp in the search bar. Yeah. Yeah, options basics and options bootcamp. Dude, check that out. Search yeah. feature right there. He made 15 times over the options because GME is fucking expensive, man. Not everybody can fucking trade a thousand shares of GME. Dude, Bell, imagine imagine being able to trade GME for basically, obviously it's different because it's contracts for shares, but it's $33 a share, not 380. You know what I mean? Like that, dude, you, small accounts are not limited anymore. We have full structure and process for even our tiny guys. And you don't have to be ashamed, dude. Just use the resources at your disposal. If you have a two right. thousand more time. Uh, JJ just updated me his p &L. I mean, he's just batting for singles every day. And some days you wake up and hit a fucking grand slam, guys. Bro, look at, look at JJ's p &L day. Look at that. Ooh, shit. Yo. Yo, that's, that's fucking life-changing money right there, guys. That's a fucking lifetime of snakes, bro, if you ask me. Oh, and the point is, guys, the point is, I know for a fact, I know JJ, I talked to him on the phone. I know he was not trying to make 22K today. He was trying to make his 2K a day. And this is the result because when preparation and opportunity and luck. Or what, what JJ did was he shorted like a normal process. Today just happens that XELA spiked all the way up and he shorted it and it halted. And when it opened, it opened way down. So like I said, man, every day, stick your pole in the water, do your fishing routine. And some days you just end up pulling up a fucking golden fish. Dude, look how sick that range is, man. That was really nice, bro. Right in the outer lines, right off what we teach on day two, low hanger. I bet you could have used the pivot lines perfect on this. And what time is it? What time is it, Tosh? Bro, Re look at the pivots. Reversal, reversal hour, Tosh. Mm. What the fuck did you trade, Val? What are you no, fucking that, trading? Me and JJ traded the same thing. XELA just now. That's how you make the five Gs. Right there. Yeah. The I'm, still in, I'm still in XLA. At the 451? I shorted the very top. <laughs> <laughs> Sicko, dude. <laughs> it's reversal hour. We it's should reversal reversal this webinar, yeah. live trading with Bow. Dude, but that's the point, guys. Look, oh, by the way, if you got for anybody who clowns on lines or pivot lines, uh yeah, oh, dude. I, I, was, I, was, I was typing to JJ instead of the webinar. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> using the dude, using the 450 line. I love it. I knew it. Right there. Yeah. Previous resistance. Still in. We're going to walk it all the way back down because it's a broken stock. Dude, look at how much overhead this is. 891. It's trading at 421. Val, I think you're good. <laughs> nice. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And then rip. <laughs> Dude, but this, this is the point of MIC, guys. Like all this stuff that we're talking about, the reason why we can riff on this so quick and comment is it's not because we've been trading for seven years. It's because it's detailed structure. I knew exactly why Bao's getting in at 450. You know why JJ made 22,000. He's using the outer pivot lines. You scale these pivots. Dude, it, it's, it's not, I always say it's not rocket science, man. It does not take the smartest guy in the room. It actually sometimes, dumbasses make a ton of money. It just takes the most discipline to learn what we have to teach, man. That's it. The best part, guys, this is all teachable. We taught JJ. We taught all the mods. They're using the same process that we've been using forever. And now they're teaching the next generation and so forth. So this is, this is the best part of MIC, guys. Not just the money, being able to change lives and help others. Yeah, it's scalable, man. And it's, and it's repeatable. We can actually teach you what we do. And that's, dude, that's the only reason why we created it. I see. I mean, you think, you think multimillionaires need to create a chat room for money? 
know, we created it because we realized, wow, actually, dude, we can teach this. Like, people will actually be able to learn from us. We're not. If you, I mean, it's simple, guys. People talk about money. Like, what? if you create a good product, money will come. It doesn't matter what the hell it is. Okay. Uh, the good product is basically the education. I mean, if we suck, people would not join. Simple as that. So, yeah, right. I would, I, my whole thing is like, of course, everybody wants to be rewarded and paid for. So, that's in capitalism, the driving force is you know, to make money. But for us, to be honest, in order to make money, we have to help each other. We have to help other people because we are in the education service. It's as simple as that. If we suck, there's no money to be made. Now think, think about like, think about like, think about this for a second. Like I have to break this down in common sense. Alex is a guy who's or just made 173,000 and he's on a webinar teaching you guys right now. Just think about that. Uh, guys, the, the best thing I see for MIC is the, the people the moderators, the members, we're all very humble. Notice look how calm Alex is. You don't hear him screaming, oh yeah, motherfucker, I'm the fucking best. Join here. No one beats me. I got fucking diamond hands. I got fucking- There's plenty of people doing that shit right now, bro. <laughs> They're all bragging. I mean, dude, like look at Tom Brady, dude. He scores so many touchdowns. There's just another fucking Super Bowl ring for him. There's no fucking big deal. He's not going out there. And... Boats. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, act like you've been here before. So when I see these guys going crazy, it just shows that they've never actually made money trading before. And they're basically new to money or new to trading, right? And dude, if you hear us going crazy, it's usually just because we're passionate about what we do, not bragging whatsoever, which is I, I, I get more I get more excited when other people make money. Seriously, dude. I think I got more excited. JJ made, made money than I made money. <laughs> and I'm more excited. If you scroll back up, um, scroll up, toss, go over this um, testimonial about Claudio. He's... Um, Oh, where's that at? Um, is this, it? This is, I get excited about this. I'm gonna repost that to you. Talk. Yeah, repost. Let this me. is why we do what we do, guys. Right here, read this testimonial. This is amazing, dude. Uh, this is the part I love the most about being a mod. Mike was about to quit in. Oh, Mike's a lifetime member. Mike was about to quit in January. He adopted me as a tab. Talked to AK Wildlife, one of our boot camps guys, for options and other mods, and something clicked. He has been profitable ever since. No shit, dude. That is awesome. Dude, how sick is that, dude? This is why we do what we do, guys. Bro, seriously. Best thing is just not us. I mean, we have the mods themselves, the members themselves are helping each other. I mean, that, that's the whole thing. I, I, I want to give my appreciation to all the mods and all the members because how do you run a community this big? You need awesome members who are helping each other. So that's the culture that we're creating here. This is not a competitive culture. I don't care if you make a dollar or a million dollars. We will treat you the same. Yeah, that, there's no hierarchy here, man. I don't care if you're a multimillionaire or someone who just started making money, dude. It doesn't matter to us. We just want you to be the best you can be. And also, remember the access you're getting. You have the ability to DM me, Bao, Tosh, Joe, Tom, James. You have direct access to your mentors, guys. A lot of these other places, you won't ever hear from them again after the first 30 minutes of the day. They're running away. They're doing their own thing. Like, we are here, literally, I was here at 5 a.m. today. I think, let me go back through the main chat to my first message. I was here at 5 a.m. today, Market just like, time. trying to help and just trying to be there Market for the team. Time. Alex, Market let alone time. PMs, trader calls too, dude. We get on the phone with you guys. Yeah, no one else does that shit, man. You know, I apologize to Alex because I got um, an hour late. So I got to here around eight something, uh, market time, which is five a.m. here. So I mean that me having to apologize for waking up at five a.m. because I'm late to work. I mean that says a lot, right? Like we feel guilty that we didn't have another hour for you guys. <laughs> Look at this. I found the message from this morning. Look at what time I was awake. Let's see. Good morning, Jesus, Alex. Four thirty-nine a.m. market time, bro. Good God. I think I. Some people just got to bed, dude. <laughs> oh my god i sent the snapchat to my friend and he said i'm just heading to bed now too Yo. I like, oh. <laughs> finishing my last shot the yeah bar. that was probably still out at night at that time that was hitting the last call dude looking for some girl <laughs> yeah that was looking for the hot chick <laughs> the founder there's no hot chick at 2 a.m guys <laughs> <laughs> i i i am the hot chick <laughs> that's for real <laughs> oh shit dude the lights come on everybody scatters like roaches also, something else I want to mention, guys, is all these fucking free chat rooms out there, the free pump and dump rooms. Like, the reason why it is free is so that they could pump into you guys. Anytime anything is free, you are the product. 
Facebook is free. They're selling your fucking information. Robinhood is free. They're selling your order flow. These Discord rooms are free so they, they can fucking pump and dump into you. So do you want to be fucking taught by someone that is pump and dumping you? Or do you want value and access and all of these testimonials? Like there's so many testimonials that we get that people think it's literally fucking fake. Yeah, literally. Like, literally like, like we have time to hire all these actors and write these things and curate these testimonials. Are you fucking kidding? Correct. So remember, if the product is fucking free, you are the product. So be careful of these Discord pump and dump rooms, guys. You get yeah. what you pay for, man. You get what you pay for. And this is, this is the same thing with the YouTube, right? YouTube is free because they spit out so many ads with these, these fucking fuguru type of scam rooms, guys. So be careful on that. Yep. So let's do some now, now YouTube is like, man, Alex, you see all these fucking guys teaching people on YouTube now? Bro, these guys that have no experience trading, they just graduated out of fucking high school. They made 10 grand fucking trading Forex options. And now all of a sudden, bro, they are online internet millionaire experts bro stay very far away from these people without a track record we post our broker statements we post everything all the time so that you guys could see that this is legit this is real and this is something that honestly is repeatable if i could do it being a fucking barista at starbucks seven years ago making a fucking caramel latte with all the fucking shit in it I struggled. I'm not going to lie. When I started, I struggled. I lost money in the beginning because I had no process. I was well, buying the breakout. Alex, I was chasing. Show that photo. I think we have a Twitter post on that. Dude, thank me. God for that set of rims. Alex, tell that story real quick, dude. It's legendary, man. Are you kidding me? I mean, yeah. I mean, it seems that like back in the day it wasn't, but now it is. I mean, I had a pair of wheels on my car that I spent $2,000 for back in the day. And I ran out of all my money. I had fucking Starbucks is paying me $150 a week. I can't fucking do anything. And I told myself, I have to be able to take this seriously. And what does seriously mean is I have to really give myself, give myself something that I can't afford to lose it, man. I can't afford to lose the fucking wheels on my car. And, you know, since then, man, everything changed. Alex, I, I always picture that this is like one of your buddies and you're, you're telling him, you're like, dude, I'm going to be big. I'm going to be big time one day. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get me my lot. Bro, I can't believe it, bro. Like, I wouldn't believe that photo if I didn't see it. And I'm pretty sure the only reason why that photo was taken is I think my dad just wanted like the memory of like seeing me like just working there. Like he was just, it was a random photo. I have no other photos from being a Starbucks. It's like, why the fuck am I going to take a photo working at Starbucks? Yeah, you know? People are still going to say it's Photoshopped. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just crazy to me that, I'm, dude, I still can't believe it sometimes. Dude, I, love how, I love how Alex is so like sentimental, dude. He even kept his like wardrobe. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, because when I quit, they never asked for it back. So I just fucking kept it in my closet. <laughs> bro, you want to buy some rims? <laughs> That's so good. Now, are you trading, motherfucker? That was bro. totally trading. I'm cleaning up broken stocks, guys. <laughs> for so education stuck. purposes only. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these, these all these bro. fucking meme stocks are fucking paying me big time today. <laughs> okay, so that's how we trade, guys. There's so many different ways to trade. So Alex trades the first red day. GME was so fucking expensive. The brokers I had, they restricted all of those stocks. So my only choice was to trade these sympathies. So I did very well just trading the non-stress sympathies. So I traded Express, KOSS. Uh, I didn't touch AMC because that was restricted as well. So there's many ways to trade, guys. You don't have to trade the suicidal GME type of stocks. We teach you many different strategies that fits your own personality and comfort level. And remember, Bal left one thing out. Dude, he was restricted on because, because of what he said on the equity side, but you guys could have traded the option side, just saying, if you even wanted to trade GME. So you also have that option, man, if you're educated. When preparation and opportunity, that's the luck, dude. If you know how to do options, you also have that. Yep. So, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to pay off my Honda Accord, guys. <laughs> I thought it was a Camry. I, I think I was able to do that today, so I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get a golf I'm cart. I'm going to be upgrading to the, the one with, uh, with leather seats now. <laughs> I was going to get a wing on the back of it now. Bro, Val's got freaking every car you can imagine in the garage, and all me and Alex want of his collection is that damn golf cart. <laughs> guys, this, I mean, this is serious, though. This is how trading works. Alex was struggling all week long. I mean, but he showed up every day. That's the thing. He knows that, you know what, man, just the fact that the, the, the stocks didn't obey what he wanted to do, but he was able to keep his risk manageable, did not blow up, 
and just wait it. And today, boom, this is what happens. That's how trading works, man. When, you know, not every day is going to be a profitable day. The key is to, to know risk management. There's too, too many people out there that, that just throw caution to the wind and just don't care and keep adding to losers and then they blow up. And, the, and you know, the, the key to trading is risk management. We're the only ones that teach hard stops. I don't think we hear anybody talking about hard stops. They still don't. They haven't copied us on that yet. I'm surprised. Because they, they, they because you know what, man, they're, they're happy adding to loser. They, they use hard stops. It will break their strategy, which is I'm going to put my whole fucking account on this stock and I cannot be wrong. Well, bro, it's like, it's like, it's like the crocodile analogy. Always they're in up to their torso and they get bailed out. Dude, they get fucking bailed out sometimes, sometimes, but the one time you don't, dude, you're dead in one day, seven years, 20 years. Doesn't matter. Your trading career is gone, son. You don't want that. That's not the way to do it, guys. I'm telling you right now. Slow and steady. Look at JJ, man. I mean, shit, he's up 26 grand today. Slow, guys. Slow. You don't have to be making ten, twenty thousand dollars a day. If you could show up to the market and make one hundred dollars a day every single day, you have the ability in the future to show up and make ten thousand dollars a day because the process remains the same. First, prove that you can make money consistently. After you prove that you can make money consistently, you will slowly scale it up. And just like me, the hundred dollar days turn to five hundred, turn to a thousand. Etc. Yep. You, you remember your first red day trade, Alex? It wasn't that big. It was probably like 200 bucks. Yep, exactly. But now the first red day that I have is, uh, you know, it's a setup that I really love. You guys see that the first red day setup or these sympathy plays are the setups that just something, something about it is just fits my personality. So those are the ones I like to focus on the most. Whereas Bao is an incredible channel trader yep. based on his personality. What he's doing right now, dude, off the 440 line on EXPR or the 450 line on what was it, ENV? Like, dude, like everybody has their flavor. And within the lines, you are going to find your identity of what you like. And we have every single type of strategy for every every single single type of trader. You just have to find which strategy fits your personality and just try it. You know, maybe you're not going to be good at the first red day, but you're an incredible, incredible uh, death line short guy. Or maybe you're just really good at the first bounce because you only have like 30 minutes to trade every single day and you can't like, stay. like like Harry, man. He's killing with the first bounce. Harry's fucking amazing, bro. Harry's been on fucking fire every single day. Every single day this guy's on fire. Well, here's the thing. And he's, a, he's a pure long buy trader, guys. He does not trade often. He just picks his spot. He has the biggest fucking like risk management. He he he'll cut his losses when he needs to, and he's only gonna enter when his prices are met at the lines he wants and guys so, how are you going to find your identity by the team that we provide you look all these people are good at what they do it's not just bow and alex it dude there's we have 20 people to help you man like it's crazy yeah, Why did you MIC? <laughs> another trade out of uh, xela there we go <laughs> what, what, dude, you're Bro, on fire. These are, Every single broken stocks, once they broke, I go and I beat the shit out of them. I'm, I'm just one of those guys that I, I'm going to let someone else fight the bully until the bully is tired. Once the bully is fucking on the ground, I'll come and I'll stop on him. <laughs> the bully's unconscious. Bow's just poking him with a stick the rest of the day. <laughs> I mean, that's how I'm going to do trading. I mean, why the fuck am I going to fight these fucking difficult stocks, right? Yo, let Alex go one-on-one with the bully. Bow's just going to be, like be like the crows pecking at the corpse, dude. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am just here to... Make simple trades to make consistent money with the lowest risk possible, guys. The goal of a day trader is not to bank every day. Sure, we did well today, but I didn't expect today to be a big bank. I make my goal is just to trade consistently, and then all of a sudden I look around. Well, holy fuck, I'm up. I'm up nice. You know, that's how dude, trading works, guys. Dude, the funniest part about that, Bow, is if you guys think we're kidding, dude, about how like we trade, we're not, dude. Me, me Bow, and Alex were in New Jersey one time, dude. We were getting lunch. I, I think we went through like a spa dude. We were all getting like fucking foot rubs and back rub. And Bow's like, yep, made another 300 on that perk on his mobile. He's like, in Miami, bro. We in Miami. We went to Korean barbecue. And this motherfucker Bow is still on his phone trading for no other reason than he just loves it. Meanwhile, I'm over here. I'm flipping the steak. I'm flipping the chicken. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. <laughs> Dude, the funniest part is you want it because Bao's so generous and big hearted, dude, literally the most generous person I've ever met. If you're at lunch with Bao and he's channel trading like he just did the 450 line on Zella, if he makes like what he always does, he'd be like, oh, I just made another 400. He'll get lunch, dude. <laughs> like 
go to lunch with Dow? I, I, I think I pretended to be hungry and order more food just so I could keep training. <laughs> I think that definitely happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'll order the sushi bowl. That's the thing, guys. Don't you don't you see how passionate someone is that they it's they Bao loves it, right? He loves it. Like I he always says that if he fucking somehow his hands got cut off, he would find a way to trade with his feet. You want to learn from someone that is so fucking passionate about their craft that even at lunch they're still working. Not because they need to, not because they need the money, but because it makes them happy. I, I think I'm actually convinced that Val likes trading more than our more than our member Davron likes flirting with women, and that's saying something. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I was literally so fucking drunk, couldn't see. I walked straight from drinking into the fucking desk just because I feel so guilty. But then you know I helped the team out. We made money, and you know that's how it works, man. I don't think I missed a day this few for fun. Val's been really good. It's it was actually really funny because I was on a call with him yesterday, and Val literally he picks up. He sounded like death. I've never heard someone sound so terrible in my entire life. I told him like the story that I had to tell him. And I was like, Bao, what do you think? 30 seconds, no response. And I'm like, okay, like Bao, you're right. And then out of nowhere, I hear this motherfucker snoring. And I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, bro. I hung up the phone and I was like, let this guy sleep. But that was the first time someone has ever fell asleep on the phone with me. Meanwhile, his DoorDash has been waiting for him for 10 hours outside his door. <laughs> Or that one time that Bao was drunk, he ordered DoorDash to the wrong apartment. <laughs> no, dude, to the wrong city. The wrong city. The wrong the wrong city. city. <laughs> and, uh, dude, so I woke up yesterday, Alex. I think, I think you called me at 1 p.m. And I, I called you at 1 p.m. your time, which was like five, uh, yeah. 4 or 5 p.m. So I, got, I got up at 8 p.m. and I go, oh, fuck, this fuck. I've been sitting outside for the past 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours. <laughs> So let's do some uh, questions from the members, guys. So if you guys are in the oh, webinar yeah, let's do, chat, let's, let's do some questions, guys. I yeah, let's do some questions. I'm going to save all the detailed questions for the trader clinic uh, yeah. tomorrow. So if you guys have anything basic, we could go over that. Um, and yeah, let's do it. Guys, what do you got for us? Hit us right now. YouTube and in chat right here in the webinar. Well, I'm looking at the YouTube right now. So we'll go through both. Cool. Yep. Keep asking so I can keep trading. Go. <laughs> Keep making money because you got to pay for that DoorDash later. <laughs> that orders the sushi boat and goes, oh, shit, I need a trade to pay for this. Learn the skill, guys. I'm telling you, man, this is life-changing. I mean, I can literally – I mean, when I walk into or rather run into my trading desk each morning, um, I am so confident I'll make money. Every day I go, I know I'm going to make money. You know, I may lose money, but as long as I stick to my trading plan – to me, it's a win. As long as you stick to your trading plan, stick to your risk, and don't fucking, you know, break your plan, you are a winner. Because over time, these are proven strategies that you're basically paying for the experience. We lost so much money to learn all these rules, guys. Just fucking, the best traders are not the most smart, okay? You don't have to be. Or the most sober. I've proven that. <laughs> the, most, the most disciplined. So days I'm drunk, I actually kind of do better. Because you know Why? I can only focus on like two or three stocks. I, I, I literally cannot see. I can only see one fucking thing in front of me. So I pick the easier low hanging fruit. I avoid the day one low float and actually do very well on drunken days because I, I focus on the easiest plays only. Now we've actually known that for a while. We just didn't want to tell you directly, but yeah, you trade better drunk. Bro. <laughs> Don't tell them, bro. You so show up and hammered every day. Do it. Uh, do the, the Jack and we drunken master. <laughs> like mentally uh, ill. Let me see. I see some questions. So, do the first uh, red day setups typically fade into close? To be honest, it doesn't matter. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Right now, uh, talking about like GameStop or AMC, they are so far deviated from the VWAP that the long bias traders are stuck. So, anything could happen in a perfect world, guys. This stock gaps up in the morning to like 280 or 300. And we get to short it again, or uh, you know, it washes I, out. I, I know why they asked that. I was talking about the all-day fair shit. Avoid the all-day shit. Fucking don't even talk about that crap. Well, and guys, and guys, that, that's not the right question for like a first red day, right? You want to know how to maximize, not like what's going to happen later, dude. You want to know the like entries and exits, where the meat is. Like, who cares, dude, if it fades in the close or ramps up? That's not what we're looking for. We're waiting for that slam red, man. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Correct. So we're going to be talking about all this stuff tomorrow, guys. Exactly. These are very, very important lessons that we don't want to kind of skip over. Oh, nice job. Um, at so what time frame do you use them again? Alex, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's a trader clinic for lifetimes or can you go with that one more time? 
Yeah. So Trader Clinic for Lifetime members, it's a webinar once a month for Lifetime members. Uh, it's going to be tomorrow at 7 p.m. market time. We usually bring on Lifetime members. We mentor them live. Uh, we try to help them live. We go through the market sentiment and what's going on. But the main topic for tomorrow is going to be a full recap of the GameStop first red day short and an in-depth explanation of kind of like the secret sauce behind the first red day. There's a, a webinar for lifetime members only. Annual members get to get access to it a week later. And unfortunately, it's not going to be posted for monthly members because the content is so good uh, that we want to kind of keep it separate uh, from everything. So, and you know what, man? Let's, let's give them a discount today, Alex. On anybody who wants to be lifetime, let's give them a giant discount. So hit up Tosh, guys. Let's um, do this. The first we're feeling 10 so people, fucking good today. We're so let's pleased. do this. The first 10 people that text Tosh GameStop, uh, Tosh, post your number, 213-458-5997. I'll even, I'll I'll even give you guys a big discount. We'll do like I think we're going to give 30%. We're not going to tell anybody. Give them the, 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 the best one, Tosh, that you gave someone earlier. By, that, by the way, friend, guys, like – Friend and family one, the friend and family deal. Dude, by the way, we have not done discounts on Lifetime so since we price raised this year. So, I mean, this dude, take advantage of this freaking sell, man. Seriously. Like, I didn't even think we were going to do discounts. This is big, man. We're going to do this for the trader clinic. So, definitely. We'll do the friends and family discount that we, we, we save for the friends, which I hate giving discounts to friends. Because you know why? They never fucking study. They hit me <laughs> up. They ask me, what the fucking trade? And I tell them, hey, guys, it's going to take you three months to learn to trade. They go, fuck this. I'm going to go fucking go casino. <laughs> yeah, it's three months to change the rest of your life and live the next 30 years for free, man. That's the thing people don't understand. Do you think doctors that are making half a million dollars a year go to school for three months or they go to school for eight years first? Trading school is- notice, notice I said three months, guys. Some of these other guys say, yeah, you can learn it real quick. I fucking teach you that shit in one, one hour. You know, three months is actually a realistic number. People have like faith, learned it in a month. There's people that, that are better than other people. Some people may take a year. Some people never learn. It's up to you guys, but we give you the best chance out there to fucking learn. Well, Bell, it's like this. The, guys, our accelerator course is an eight-hour video course, right? If you, can, if you watch this in one weekend, you're going to know how to trade. Are you going to be amazing? No, dude. But you watch this another weekend, you're going to get there quicker. The point is how much time are you willing to put in? If we see guys get there in six months, if we see their, other people get there in a month, we've averaged out, dude. It's like a three-month timeline. You really start to understand trading and even start making money, man. Bow is not wrong on that, dude. So... Yeah. Three months, man. Three months. Just dedicate. Do you hate your Oh, listen. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense. Like, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Sometimes I'm like very, uh, like cut and dry, very black and white. Like if I told you that if you just fucking sit your ass down and you study hard, you watch the videos, you participate for the next three to six months. And after those three to six months, you're going to learn how to make $500 to a thousand dollars a day. I guarantee every single motherfucker would sit down and uh, study for that time. The problem is, it's very hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I'll give you an example, like exercising, right? Like I've been consistently exercising for six months now, five days a week, four to five days a week. And the reason why I keep going is because I know that eventually after I continue to put in the work, I am going to see the results that I am looking for. You will not see the results until you work and put your head down. So treat this very serious guys if you join don't join and fucking just sit there and do nothing watch the videos i could tell by the questions people ask me if they've watched the videos or not and to be honest it pisses me off when you guys don't because i know that you probably don't have a chance to succeed because you're not putting in the work but those people that do work hard those people that are putting in the work i guarantee you guys will be the next generation of traders making six and seven figures a year every single year without stress. So take this seriously. Now let's study three. For three to six months. And Bro. I guarantee, I promise you, you will make money. But if you treat this like gambling, if you want to follow someone that has screen share alerts or text message alerts, you're going to fucking lose money for six months or a year. And then you're going to say, why the fuck did I just learn for that six months or a year? And I would have already started making money. So take now it seriously. Alex, to piggyback that and to say be so far beyond our testimonials, which are endless and freaking infinite and countless to even like pay attention to these days. There's so many. Dude, was James a moderator from day one? 
No. Was he a successful trader from day one? No. Was Harry, was Tom Diesel? Tom Diesel was an Uber driver, $700 to his name. Was Bear, was, dude, was Faye, Faye? Dude, half of our moderators are members. Who Guys, I watched the videos. The reason, so I'm, I'm here, right? I just made $170,000 on the day. It's amazing, right? But I am still the guy after all of this, but I'm still watching every single video in the video library, whether it's from James, Harry, Tom, Joe, I watch every single one of them because I want to make sure that no motherfucker has a bigger edge than me. I want to make sure that I am the guy putting in the most work because I'm trading against someone else on the other side of the screen. And I want to make sure that other guy on the other side of the screen is the biggest fucking idiot in the world with diamond hands and doesn't know what he's doing because that will give me an edge. So you guys as traders, if you want to be successful, be more educated than the person you are trading on the other side of the screen with. So Alex Multimillionaire watches every single piece of content even we still put out and still deciding to learn versus the guy who joins monthly complains that he doesn't want to put in work and then complains about being broke. What's the difference here? You see what I'm saying? Hey, one, more, one more comment, Tosh, before you take the next question. I got people asking me, all, I mean, they join. They barely know anything. They want to trade right, right away. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Yep. The guys join, and within the first day, they want to fucking trade. They want to copy what we do. And I, am I told, like, have you watched any videos? No. Then why the fuck are you trading? You know, so I tell them to hold up, watch the videos, paper trade. Paper trading is too underrated, guys. You want to paper trade until you get comfortable. Then you move into a live simulator for one month just to learn the mechanics. And then you can go small size because otherwise you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's like trying to play poker with the professionals, man. And you're the smallest stack out there. You don't even know the fucking rules. Yep. And, and, and here's another thing to add to that about it's like, dude, paper trade and the number one thing you should probably be paying attention to so you can get learning experience at night and because you're not actually really trading is guys get in the feel of our live trading examples. What, pull up one of James's videos, dude, where he goes through his live trading with commentary and you get to feel it. You get to see a screen. You get those moments where there's actually no talking and you feel like you're in a trade. Like, dude, I'm telling you, we have every resource you need to get started. This is why I don't care if you have a family no time you work three jobs you will benefit from joining mic whether you're in check commentary all day check this out there this is funny i forgot this is a real real fucking story so last night i got a text from my friend because gme started going up he's a like, bow man you should look at these fucking game stocks time stock bow you're stupid man for, for disregarding these we're gonna become so rich off of this oh, and so i mean they, they, that's the same thing these these guys get lucky because they follow the internet hype and yeah, for, I mean, this works. GMA works. But look what happens. None of them fucking sold. Why would you ever fucking sell today? It was on a pace to go to $400 a share. Then it takes 150 points out of nowhere when you're taking a shit in the bathroom. So he's going to come out of the bathroom and go, what the fuck? I was up. Now I'm fucking dead. And that's, that's where education comes. I'm pretty sure no one's using hard stops. No one even thinks this shit's going to go down because everyone has fucking diamonds, diamond fucking hands. So, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, this is a real story. I don't want to say anything, but dude, I've been getting texts from friends about GME and I, I kept on warning them. I'm like, dude, you're going to wake up one fucking day, turn around and you're going to be fucking broke. And exactly what happened today. And who knows what this could be at tomorrow or by the end of the week, dude, it could be at $50 again. Like it's so dangerous. It doesn't like matter what it is. The point is, why are you not getting educated? I mean, right. you're competing with guys like Alex and I who've been trained for so long that we've seen these set up so many fucking times. I'm so sick of my fucking friends who just found trading texting me how stupid I am. And I'm like, dude, do what you want. There's a thousand other stocks. I do not need to go along fucking GME. <laughs> you know, I, I do very well on other stocks. So that's the thing. Even if you do not touch GME, Learning to trade, like what I did today. I didn't even trade GME one time today, guys. I trade the easier setups, the sympathies. You know, that's, that's what I like to do. I, I like no fucking risk. Alex is a young kid. Sure, he can fucking risk $300,000 on this shit. But I'm like, dude, I'd rather make my fucking 20, 30 grand easy. No stress. Fucking, I can fucking go take a dump, come back, and these sympathies will not kill me. Yep. So 
what you're going to do is you're going to go through your contact list and your phone today. You're going to see anyone that's text you that Dogecoin to the moon or GME to the moon. You're going to block them and join in my Dogecoin <laughs> <Dogecoin> lines. <laughs> tell the tell the sell two hundred dollars worth of Dogecoin to join in my seat. <laughs> Yo, hey, you, you, uh, are we giving the link today? The the the, the half off. Uh, you uh, you tell me, man. What do you want to do for these guys? I I'll post it in the YouTube chat. Do you, do you want to post it to? Uh, here? Okay. Up to you. Special occasion for the big win. What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. I'm actually going to start to get out of here, guys. I'm going to start to get some lunch and I'm going to start drinking. So if there you guys go. have any questions, you can send me a DM, but the rest is on you guys. <laughs> so, so two things Alex just said. So we are doing, uh, Alex, we are or not doing a half off on the monthly. Yeah. If they text you, you could give it to them. Text Only today. You. Only today. I text a uh, fucking game stock. Guys, I am, not, I am not extending these sales. You have 24 hours to get 30% off lifetime or half off the monthly for the first month. It is up to you that we've had the number posted all. This is the best time you're ever going to get to join MIC, dude. If you sleep on this, don't come begging me for these deals a week later, man. It's today only, and this is the last day, bro. Yep. Later, guys. I'll see you guys back in the room. Yeah, Alex, go have fun, buddy. I don't, I don't care. Give it away for free. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> if, oh, like, no. <laughs> if, Val was, if Val was in charge of that accounting on MIC, we'd, we'd be smoked. We'd have to dilute, dude. <laughs> we'd have right, to three, 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 answer questions. So let's throw some questions out because we're feeling in a good mood. So we're going to stick around. I'm going to stick around, guys. Guys, we, we've got like 15, 20 more minutes, guys. If you have any questions, please post them here. We're going to talk about it. We got me and Val still, and I know Val's probably trading something. So <laughs> I'm still trading. <laughs> so I'm going to stick around until the end. Let's see what we got. What do we got? I know you guys got some. Do not be shy, man. If you're brand new, don't be shy. There's no such thing as a dumb question when you're new. There's such thing as dumb questions out there, but we like to we like to say that given on a timeline. A dumb question to some people. <laughs> <laughs> for real uh, maybe we, we talked too many people there's no more questions dude. dude maybe maybe we did man maybe we'll wrap it up and go have lunch early if you want to deal on annual if you want to deal on anything today today guys alex is feeling very generous i am not part of the membership committee so don't ask me <laughs> don't come to me because i'm the nice guy that gives away free shit um so but today if you want to upgrade anything hit up tosh because they they're in charge of that i i <laughs> Two reasons, because Alex had such a good day today. We're feeling generous. And we have the Trader Clinic tomorrow, man. So uh, right now, the first off monthly, annual, and lifetime, and accelerator course bundles of some sort, I will find you the best deal. I will do case-to-case -case basis. We'll talk, and uh, I'll see what's right for you, man. Because some people are annual. Some people are, you know, monthly already. Maybe some people have been. We'll talk about it. But just, just text me, and we'll figure that out together. But when it comes to the questions... Alex and Bao, what are you going to do to improve your trading? This might be a difficult question because you guys are very great traders. Bao, how do you want to answer that? What do I do to keep improving my trading? Every aspect of trading is difficult, just like golf. The hardest part for someone might be the easiest part. For me, discipline, being able to have no FOMO and wait for my lines or basically to cut my losses. So everybody has something to improve upon. Uh, it's really difficult because it's both a mental, psychological, as well as a technical. So as a new trader, you're going to have to learn the technicals. That may be the hardest thing for you right now. For me, because I know the technicals, it's the discipline to follow my technicals. And, and, and Bao, I love what you just said in the correlation of that because, dude, I, I went out golfing yesterday with a buddy after the market closed yesterday, and we got a nine hole in. And, dude, he is, he is an extremely good putter. And I'm an extremely good drive off the tees, but I can't putt for shit, man. I can't putt for shit. So I said, I said to my buddy, Brandon, I said, Brandon, we got to go do scramble tournaments, bro, where you play best ball between the two of us. I've got the long game. You've got the short game. Dude, we'll do some real damage. And j just to kind of parlay on that, guys, that's the point of the tab program. Like, that's it, dude. Find someone who can compliment you that you get that extra boost of confidence or you get that extra boost of learning of where you're not good at so you can improve. So when twin, you know, one and two asks, you know, all of us who have already successful traders or we've been doing this for a while, how are you improving? We are always open to getting better, whatever form that takes. Whatever form that takes, man, you've got to be always learning and updating. Nice trade, Val. Right yeah, keep asking questions, guys. I want to keep trading. Come on. <laughs> Yo, that was in the zone. Look at my covers, guys. So I covered, I waited. I did not overtrade and come back. 
So I wait, I wait to my right opportunity. <laughs> Bell, we're coming up 20 minutes before the close, dude. 20 minutes, watch the clock. I think I made enough for uh, just during your webinar. I had enough for a lifetime, really. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're buying my steak dinner tonight then with Ben. Anytime. anytime. <laughs> anytime yo i always want to i always want to go out to lunch with bow while he's trading man i know he'll channel trade in a buying lunch <laughs> you always get that uh, seafood teller <laughs> <laughs> bow turned me into a seafood nut dude i never used to like seafood before i met bow now every time i go out dude i'm like you have a shrimp cocktail or a seafood tower <laughs> all right so let's see the, the youtube questions anybody want questions guys guys uh, closing 15 minutes man closing we got just a little bit of time left Dude, I think something really cool. Let's see. I think we taught everything, bro. Seriously. Dude. It's your chance, guys. That's whatever you guys want to ask. Cold cash coming in with the typing. Let's go. What you guys got? Here's another testimonial. Anthony, after putting three months of videos in, uh, had my best month in February. 5K, dude, that's awesome. And 5K Watching videos pays off. Bro, 5K is not going to seem like a lot to some people. And then it's going to seem a lot to some people. Like, it's all perspective, dude. Who knows if Anthony's not saying that's 500K one day. Like, dude, if Alex can pull in 200 in one day, he's I, – dude, I, I think two years ago – Alex had a January of 600K in one month. I'll never forget it. He was like, dude, I was just in the zone the entire month. And that's the whole point, man, is like, just scale it up as you get better, man. If you feel like you can handle the risk, if you want to. But the whole point is, guys, you got to get started, man. You got to take that first step. Oh, so, so, Pam got a good question, dude. Can I use a laptop? Yeah. So, when you start, guys, the first thing to do is watch the videos to learn and then paper trade. Uh, the only reason we have a lot of screens because I – I put, I trade a lot of different symbols. So if you're new, stick to one or two or three max. You probably want to do one or two symbols just to look at. Yep. Um, so you don't need much real estate. The more you, and then experience will tell you when you need to add another screen. Guys, you do not need bow setup when you're first starting. You just need a laptop and a paper trade and focus on two tickers a day, man. Just watch the videos and learn the first bounce or the death line short. Like you're only going to have one or two or three of those a day. You don't need tons of screens to start. So another question from Cole, how do you overcome losing days? We, you know, so we, we, we make a lot of videos on this guys. Everybody has a losing day. So when you lose, you have to ask yourself, why are you losing? Is it a, um, um, is it because you're breaking your rules? Is it a discipline issue or is it a technical issue? So you have to figure that out. So with MIC is really great because now you can hit up a moderator during, during the time that they offer the call and go over what you did and then they can suggest ideas. But when you're losing, it sucks. What's going to happen is you need to size down. So when I lose the next day, my goal is not to fucking make back my losses. My goal is just to end the day green $1 by following the process, sizing down. So I go back to basics. A lot of times the way I lose, I should never lose to be honest, knock on wood. When I lose, it should be very minimal. But when I lose, it's usually because I break a rule. It's because I go on a big streak, a big winning streak, and I think I can fucking do no harm. So I start to, to attack short front side. I break all the fucking rules possible, the zombie rules, all this. And then that's how I get clipped. So when I start to lose, I go, oh, fuck. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to cut away all those stupid shit. I'm going to go back to to a bread and butter play. So everybody should have a bread and butter play that's so fucking boring, but you are very good at it. For me, it's low hanging fruit, meaning like the, uh, the day two plays, I break him down. So I focus on that, I avoid day one low floats. And then I, re so you need a couple of days to rebuild your confidence. And you'll forget your losses very quickly, guys. After you start to have a couple of green days in a row, but the key is to get back on the horse by being green one day by sticking back to your process. Guys, legitimately, like Val was just saying, super legitimately like clockwork, dude. Every time he has a red day, me and Alex know because the next day he's texting us and he goes, yep, I'm just on low hangers day. And then he has a killer day because Bao has mastered low hanger so intensely that, dude, I'm convinced that Bao would never take an L in his entire life again if he just traded low hangers. But again, we get, you know, we get excited about the day ones and then he's good or he's teaching him and he's doing good at those. But every now and then we do break our rules. And when you do, you just can't let that compound. You can't go in tomorrow saying, I got to make this back or I'm going to do what I did. It didn't work. You might be in a market where every day one, you know, is squeezing. So what works 
in the basics and that's low hangers for Val. You got to find what works for you. So the, the, the thing with that is, yes, that's true. If I fucking just trade low hanger fruit, I'll probably never lose or hardly ever lose. And that's why we suggest you start out. If you are a short bias trader, we're teaching you the low hanging fruit. If you are a long bias trader, we're teaching you the, the first bounce, things like that, right? Or deviation from VWAP, what stocks that are safe for you to go long. We're teaching you proper risk management. So you go back to your bread and butter. But as you, as you go on as an experienced trader, you cannot just stick to one play because that one play may not come up for a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? So you need to expand your horizons. This is why I'm stepping out and doing other things. But at the end of the day, you go back to what is the safest, okay? Bro, so mine, mine, yeah, and like, yeah, I'll just give you guys an example of my process. So like mine was always two things, right? Bao taught me low hangers. I was one of the first people that Bao ever taught low hangers. So I'm really good at those. I like the low hanging fruit like he does. But on day ones, whenever I'd have a slip up, right? And I'd be on like a little bit of a streak, maybe two days red. And I'd be like, man, what the fuck am I doing? Like, am I anticipating? Like, what is going on? I just wait for the death candles, man. That is my bread and butter. That is my hug. That is like, dude, the, the, the freaking, that's my comfort zone. When I see an uptrender and I get like the death candle of the day that kind of reversal trends, I'm going in on pops, man. That's like my favorite thing in the world, dude. So everybody's got their thing, right? You have to wait and you have to get to a point where you know what that is, wait for it and then strike on it because it's the basics of what your process makes you money. Maybe not for X, Y, Z, maybe not for him, but it makes money for you. It's always about your comfort zone and the basics of what works for your process. And, and remember guys, you have to trade within your personality. Yep. You know, I, 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 I'm a nervous wreck. I'm a control freak. I, it's very hard for me to hold shit for a long time. And I work around my limitations. My limitation is mental. You know, a lot of people are mental or your limitation could be financial. So you do the safe scalps only, you know? So you have to know what your limitations are and work on that to, to make it better. So, I'm, so for me, I'm a control freak, but now I'm starting to step out of my comfort zone a little bit by a little bit every day. So that's how you grow as a trader. You, you know, you, each day try to, you know, if you want to grow as a trader, put an extra hundred shares out there just to get over that hump of, I'm too comfortable, I'm making, too much consistent money. I'm getting bored. So the, the worst thing you can do is get bored as a trader and then start to fuck around. That's what I used to do. I was so fucking bored because I'm like every, to be honest with you, I heart, knock on wood, I hardly ever fucking lose in the morning. Then I sit around all day, I get fucking bored and I, I start to bleed back my, my money, you know? So, so I'm, I'm starting to be better on that and, and treat it more as a business than a fucking entertainment. To be honest, I really don't, I mean, me, make, me making or losing money at this point in my it's life, it's not gonna, at this point, it's not gonna fucking do anything for me, right? I yeah. just need to make sure that I don't fucking lose everything. <laughs> no, Val, get, Val gets one less apartment building and real estate portfolio. <laughs> like, dude, it's like it's not gonna do much to change your life, bro. Exactly. So the point is, guys, you have to do what works for you. It's like, look, I'm a terrible putter in golf, and I golf like three times a week. Dude, I'll just be honest. I may even go out for a nine hole today. So I should probably go to the course and just practice my putting the rest of the day. Get out of my comfort zone. So someone says, not. um. All these questions like, oh, what is channel trading? Guys, join MIC. All these guys on, on YouTube that are not part of MIC. Let me ask you a question, guys. Seriously, you're listening to YouTube right now. We're giving you fucking everything for you to join. We're even giving you this $99 off this first month thing. I, why are you not joining? Seriously, break <laughs> down your channel training, Mr. Mike D. Tony. Why are you joining for 99 bucks to learn all this? How There's about first that we cannot teach you within the first two minutes of, of answering the question. 30% off lifetime today only. Don't, Dude, don't say the 30. <laughs> Let, let's see what it is. Let's, um, we're going to give you the best deal, but um, I think Toss is giving way too much, but we may have to honor that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex already said it earlier. <laughs> They're like, oh, shit. That's a lot. But uh, we'll figure it out, guys. We're going to get you in the club, man. We're going to do what works. And today's the day, man. I'm telling you right now. If you lost 200 trading today, there goes the membership at MIC. If you lost 2000, that's a year of learning. And if you lost, you know, Cobra trading guys, want to ask me Cobra, Cobra mentioned MIC, you get the biggest discount there right here. So guys, uh, this is why, you know, you asked me a lot of questions. I want to ask you guys, then you guys are not MIC because there's a YouTube right now on this. Um, what's stopping you from joining MIC guys? Seriously, what's stopping you from joining MIC? I mean, you said that we can make 10 bucks. Dude, for the first time. Money or ego, it's only two things. Like, what is it, guys? Can you do you have the inability to ask for help? 
If you live in the United States, you can fucking afford 99 bucks. Don't tell me you can't fucking afford 99 bucks. I bet you that the fucking t-shirt, the, the belt, the dumbass, ugly shoes you got on is more than 99 bucks. Dude, the kombucha you're holding in your hand right now is $9. That's a 10. How, how, how many idiots like Tosh go to Starbucks and spends $20 a day on Starbucks? $20? Holy shit. More like <laughs> six. <laughs> You only get one thing, okay? You're you're better than most people, dude. Yeah, I, I, got good, I got good discipline, man. <laughs> yeah, because most people are going to Starbucks twice a day. Bro, they get those freaking cards, the convenience. They get freaking egg McMuffin. They get the cake pops. They're freaking deep throating the lattes. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at cost. I covered the bottom. Well, I, use, I use line to line, guys. I use line to line covered cost. Which one cost? Yeah, I'm gonna repost it again. Nice job, man. I mean, these are the things that we teach you. I mean, fuck, dude. You know what you do? Stop fucking buying those shoes. Instead of buying that one shoe, use that for the education. I guarantee you, if you fucking learn this thing, you can make a shoe a fucking day if you want. I, I make a, a shoe a click. You know, I, I'm just, <laughs> them, them, <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, man, this shit works, guys. I'm, I'm so sick of hearing these questions. Like, can you explain to me how shorty works? I'm like, dude, why don't you just do an MIC? Oh, because it's too expensive. But, but how much did you lose today? Like these guys are messaging me. The guy messaged me the other day. He lost $20,000. I'm like, why are you not in MIC? Because I lost too much money. I'm like, dude, I fucking can't help you there. Why don't you go lose the rest of your money? <laughs> you know, like, I don't fucking understand. Dude, that's like two plus two equals 10. Like, it's so backward. It's unbelievable. Let, lose all your money and then come to MIC. Like, what? Okay, so um, uh, Brett, so this guy had a good question on YouTube. I want to post it on the chat. Uh, trading for an hour a day. What strategy is that? It's scalping, dude. You know what? You know what? How you make two hundred dollars a day scalping? You have a thousand shares. Make ten cents. That's a hundred bucks. Do that two times. That's two hundred bucks. Can you do that? Of course you can do that. Everybody can do that. I guarantee you, I can teach anybody to make two hundred bucks a day. The problem is you are too fucking greedy. You want five hundred bucks a day, and then when you get five hundred, you want five thousand a day. And that's what you lose. If you just have the discipline to listen to us and to follow our strategy, you can make 200 bucks a day every fucking day. Guys, it's not hard. Bell, I put a full guide on this that you can download as an MIC member on how to make 200 a day. Outer lines examples, ultra outer lines examples. Under, dude, this is my favorite one. This is how I make money every single day, dude. This is my bread and butter with death candles. You have death, like, bro, I, I give you every kind of example you can have. De death candles out the gate, how to hit pops on broken names. Like, bro, what the fuck are you not signing up for? <laughs> oh, it's, you know, scalping. There's many ways. The first thing I advise you to learn our system, learn our process. There's so many different ways to do it. You can swing trade. We have a swing trading room. We have an options trading room. We have moderators that do every type of trading. You find a style that matches you. That's where MIC comes in. MIC is just not me. This is not Todd, not just Alex. There's like 20 moderators out there, guys. And these and the members themselves are probably doing better than I am. There are guys in MIC I'm, I'm seeing posting like $100,000 days every fucking day. You know, they're just the quiet guys, but they're learning our process. They just happen to have a bigger fucking set of balls than I do. <laughs> I don't need to make a hundred thousand a day. I also don't need to lose a hundred thousand dollars. Dude, dude, the funniest part is we almost like we're so happy them for them, but like, dude, sometimes we almost feel emasculated. We get like a sleeper that's like, dude, I turned thirteen hundred and two hundred grand. And me and that we're like, holy shit! How the hell did you do that? We didn't do that. It's crazy, man. Like, it's just crazy that like how many sleeper testimonials we have that just come out of the woodwork. Like, dude, this was the one last night. We're like, you turned 1300 into what? Like, yeah, you just came out of nowhere. Like, yeah, I just, I mean, I, I started just for fun, a thousand dollar options account. And I'm like, what? I'm, I'm looking at that. Dude, I, thought he made, I, I thought he made 7,000. I was like, fuck, that's pretty good. A thousand to 7,000 is fucking amazing. Then I looked at it, I was like, oh shit, I missed the fucking decimal point. It's 70,000. <laughs> Dude, me and Bauer were like, holy shit. <laughs> he should teach. <laughs> yeah, but that's, the, but that's the beauty, guys. All the members, are fucking so humble. They, they, you know what he wrote? He goes, I'm willing to share every single trade I did with everybody. And so, you know, that, that's how it works, man. One person helps another person. It's just endless examples for you guys, man. If the testimonials haven't done it, if these Wednesday webinars haven't done it, 
you need to look yourself in the mirror, man, and ask you if you if you trust yourself to take a new endeavor in anything. Because guys, we've provided every piece of foundation you need to get started trading. We're even got the best discounts of anyone out there comparable to the value that we provide. And if, if you're still not convinced, man, I mean, maybe trading's not for you, man. You got to look yourself in the mirror and ask that as well. Because you might have an ego problem, man, and that'll never help you in trading, bro. If you can't spend $100 to see what we have to offer for the first month, bro, trading's not for you. It's just not for you. Any other questions, guys? Four or five minutes till the close. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like I one, one more trade on KOSS at the $32 line. Come on, bring on one more question. No. <laughs> the questions help. All right, so so let's leave um, let's leave with your number again, Tosh. I'm gonna post the, the the your number. So let's let's end it with that then. I'll even uh, we we spent a lot of time in this webinar. Um, tomorrow is gonna be a trader clinic for the lifetime, so we're gonna give a, a giant discount today only. So text Tosh guys, Game Stonk, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Game Stonk. I promise you guys, don't ask after tomorrow, after the lifetime, uh, the trader clinic, these discounts will not be, please don't even ask. It'll, it'll, it'll be, you know, be higher, much higher. So it'll, it'll um, be right back to normal. You're going to wait for a day. Alex makes another hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to top himself. He's got to have like a $400,000 day. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Dudes, Bow, that was so much fun, man. You're awesome as always. Thanks for live trading and teaching everybody. And I'll take my Venmo in about the next 30 minutes. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> we will see you back in after hours, guys. Thanks, hey, guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye, YouTubers. YouTube.